The S&P ended first quarter with 10.6%, overperforming the Nasdaq, the Dow, and the Russell 2000s. Looking deeper into sectors, we saw that energy picked up the mantle for March and recorded an overall return of nearly 11%, followed by none other than materials and utilities, with over 6% month-to-date. To provide further context, uh, Marathon Petroleum demonstrated a remarkable year-to-date return of over 38%, contrasting with Apple, which saw a decline of 11% over the same time frame. Additionally, NextEra Energy, a prominent name in the domestic utility sector, has reported a return of 5.2% thus far. The month of March also marked the release of the Federal Reserve's latest economic projections. The Federal Reserve adjusts its forecast for the year-end interest rate, reducing it from 5.4% to 4.6%. This adjustment underscores the Federal Reserve preparedness to lower rates as soon as the data on inflation and unemployment justifies such a decision. In line with this, the most recent personal consumption expenditure, or the PCE, um, showed no change, while unemployment showed a slight increase to 3.9%. That's very close to the full unemployment of 4%. This development, however, is not perceived as a deterrent yet to the mentioned projections of the Fed.